Well, it is a sweet staple here in our area with a rich history. Our own Lauren Cook has more on a local bakery that's whipping up much more than cakes and cookies. Walking past Simon's Bakery, you're sure to get some tricks <laughs> and treats this Halloween season. The kids press this button and they'll start and they'll go around and they'll stop back over there. Mr. Simon's putting his own touch on his family's legacy. That just train up there is a little unusual because it's got a motor in the front and a motor in the back. This little girl up here bobbing for apples, that's kind of special because that's my own creation. I made that all by myself. He started making Christmas train gardens as a young boy with his father. Well, we do Easter, Christmas, and Halloween. And then we slip a couple in between. And now keeps tradition alive all year long. And they did pumpkin up there. My uh, daughter-in-law made that when she was in college. Just the ballroom dancers, they're pretty much a favorite of mine too. The love and care put into his displays is also mixed into his famous recipes. Well, I like the peach cake, but that's only seasonal. I really like the sugar cookies because I do so many of them. Well, you got to roll them thin. That's the, the whole thing. People love my chocolate. They think I make the best chocolate, and it's it's so easy. It's the same I've been doing it for 50 years. Matter of fact, I've been baking 70 years. Trinkets sprinkle the bakery. This machine was bought two years after I was born, 34. And uh, it was in my grandfather's place. And tell stories of generations. <laughs> I whipped up a granddaughter here. Is South Baltimore, cobblestone streets and the gas light. Its location might have changed. This picture here is from uh, taken from the space shuttle. But customers still leave with sweet treats. A customer come in, he made that for me. I really like it because the cookies look so real. And smiles. I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. So when he was asking which his favorite treats were, I thought he was going to be one to go try, but now I have to go try like four. <laughs> what did he say? The peach, the peach, peach cake, cake which cookies. is seasonal. The sugar cookies, the chocolate. All right, so I, we have a really lot to go too. to go try. Uh, Mr. Simon's next display will be church themed for Christmas. Right now is his busy season. From October to December, he makes nine thousand pounds of sugar cookies. It's a lot of work. He can cut each cookie too. You know, um, Lauren, there's a little problem though. Yeah because that was a really good story, and now they're going to start making you do all kinds of really good stories <laughs> like that all the time. Exactly. That, also thought, a pleasure. I just love There's that story. There's another problem, and I also heard somebody acknowledge this in my ear that we don't have any cookies in front oh, of us, Lauren. I'll change you. Did well. you take them right. home? I'll visit Mr. Simon sometime this I week. I think we all might need to go visit Mr. Simon. Yeah, we'll yes. have to take a field trip. That it looks delicious. Terrific. He's right in the Cranbrook Shopping Center in Cockeysville, so and that cute. bakery at first opened in 1886. It was right near the Hanover Street Bridge. And he looks like he loves what he does. A lot of history. Know? He really does. Wow. He said that he, his wife always jokes with him that he would have retired a long time ago had it not been for these window displays. Uh -huh. He, he works so hard. Aww. Very special. And the kids love him too. Well, that was a great story. Thanks, yeah, Lauren. Yeah, thanks, Lauren. Of course.